Thanks for tuning in for another video. Now this one's about the 32X and the 32X greatly enhanced the capability of the Sega Mega Drive. Um, it came with around 32,000 extra colors and it could render a further 50,000 polygons per second. The 32X was also capable of running 40 times faster than the standard Sega Mega Drive. So let's have a look and see which games, which of its games pushed the 32X and the Sega Mega Drive to its limits. Since the beginning of time, mankind has striven to double and redouble his power. A mysterious machine has appeared in homes across America. Alright, baby. Increase the power of the unit 40 times. 32X. Welcome to the next life. You still your drink? I don't have a drink. Uh oh. Consistently thrilling and involving shooter, but it lacks the balls to take any risk with a rigid and well-trodden formula. The PC version is still the king of kings. The SNES version was a horrible abomination. The 32X, it doesn't even try to compete with the 64-bit Jaguar version. But what 32X owners do have here is a highly playable <laughs> FPS that at least has a go. A right old compelling little adventure with high production values throughout. The game's visual quality and the range of creatures are utterly delightful. It's both relaxing and satisfying, smooth and very good looking. For excitement and thrills in this fantastic arcade game that really seriously pushes the 32X to its bounds. Stunning looks, intense gameplay, and fantastic sound effects and music. It's definitely a case of Fifty Shades of Sonic the Hedgehog. There's not much new here, and Sonic plays the better game, but this is absolutely stunning. The colours, animation, presentation, and graphics a step above the Sega Mega Drive. Intimidating, explosive and overwhelming. This is up there with the best shooters on the 32X. It looks awesome and plays brilliantly too. A sock in the mouth to anything Nintendo can do. I'm talking and looking at you Star Fox. It's a sterling example of what the 32X is really capable Calibri offered something completely new for 2D side-scrolling shooter fans. For those who want a lot more than a run-and-gun shooting game, this is the complete alternative package. It doesn't take a genius to show you that this took the 32X to beautiful limits. martial arts fan, look no further than Sega's timeless classic, the one and only Virtua Fighter. This is still one of the finest entries into the series yet. Pure, unadulterated genius.
Another one that pushed the 32X to breaking point. This superb fighter is an absolute must-have. Go combo crazy on one of the best fighting games, not just on the 32X, but of all time. Mortal Kombat 2 seriously pushes the graphical boundaries of the 32X. WrestleMania might not be the killer app or 32X exclusive we all hope for, and it may not look much by today's standards, but it's still a delight to play, and another game that pushed the 32X. With a roster of eight WWF fighters, including Shawn Michaels and the legendary Bret Hart, and dozens of over-the-top moves, this is surely one that gives Mortal Kombat 2 a run for its money in the I Push the 32X More department. Afterburner is an all-time classic that still retains its magic so many years after it was first released in the arcade. It lost none of its charm from its journey from the arcade over to the 32X. An absolute must have for the 32X that really pushed the limits. Unapologetically simple and yet undeniably classy. This is the perfect home arcade experience on the 32X. There isn't a bad thing to say about this arcade conversion. And it's better than the Sega Saturn original. So there you have it. Lots of worthy games from a really powerful console uh, that unfortunately failed. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and please Please subscribe.